Hey what's up guys, Mookie here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a teleportation GUI. Here's how it works and how all of it will look like. Let me just load it up real quick. Alright, so if you look in the workshop, we got teleportation locations. Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. And then over here, in the screen GUI, we got part one, part two, part three, part four. And I feel like I press the first part, I teleport to the first part. That's how the part moves. Every single time it moves, I still go over to it. Second one, go over to the second one. Third one, go over to the third one. Fourth one, go over to the fourth one. The fourth one. And all I need to do to add another one is add a new part over here. And then add another text, the text button. That's the same name as it. It doesn't matter about the text, it just matters about the name of it, so they match. And then, uh, I would, it just helps me all, all the way over there. I see, now I can't, I can't teleport, I can't teleport to the second one anymore, because, um, it just flew off the map. So I'm pretty sure the fourth one, I don't know. Second one and the third one, I can't teleport to. So even if one gets deleted, I could still go to the other one, without it needing, um, without it breaking the script. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So first I'm gonna need a folder, call it teleport locations, add a part to it, and then call the part, um, let's call this part, uh, spawn. And anchor it, can't collide it, there we go. And then let's, let's make another part all the way over here. Let's call this part, um, edge. So there you go. Right, so we got spawn and we got edge. Spawns are here, edge over there. Then we're gonna wanna go over to replicated storage. Then we're gonna wanna make a remote event. We make a remote event, we call it teleport. Remote events allow you to communicate from the client to the server uh, safely. So with filter enabled, enable, with filter enabled on. If we didn't have that, then the players, if we didn't have filter enabled on and we didn't have remote function, players can cheat in the game, spawn and stuff, teleport anywhere, hack the game, the whole shebang. And um, remote events are pretty secure, depending on how you make them. So first we're going to need a screen GY, a frame, or a scrolling frame, depending if you want to, if you want to like, add a lot of, lot of, um, Oops, add a lot of um, teleportation locations. I don't know why that keeps selecting that. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. I'm gonna go all the way over here, and we're gonna want to use offset because offset is the best. Um, I mean, not offset, scale. Scale is the best, and because it scales with every single type of monitor. So let's say you have like a, you're playing on a TV. It will look the same as a PC. Like if it will look the same if you're on, on a phone. So we're gonna want to use that. Let's have it like that. Let's just set it up real quick. Point twenty five. So it's a little bit transparent. Add a list. UI list layout. So this works. And then call this. And we're gonna want to add um, two text buttons. One called Edge. One called Spawn. And just then, oops. Just then we know. Okay, it won't let me. Okay, F two, spawn, and just so we can tell the difference, one of one of them spawn, and the other one, edge, because it's on the edge. Uh, let's edit it up so then it looks prettier. Then, oops, no, I don't want that. Okay. Then let's go all the way over here. One, right, one. Zero, so it lines up. Um, zero, zero point two two, zero. Then twelve. So this allows us to have two more, I believe. Yeah, two more. But we only want two right now because we only have two top edition locations. And we're gonna want to go do local script game dot parent. Dot, oops, no, no, not game. Script.parent.frame. Get children. 
I'm gonna go search for IV in pairs bracket do if V is a text uh nope oops yeah I'm just gonna do that so then you can just do that real quick. Then V oops okay M mouse button one click connect function player so we got this and then we're gonna wanna do game dot replicated storage dot teleport fire server and then we're gonna wanna get the name of the of the button so number one you click on it it's gonna send it over to the server so far the server can't catch it so we're gonna wanna add a script right here and start server script service just so then we want to add it service script service so then the client can't touch it unless it goes through a remote event so we're going to go to game and then yeah game dot replicated storage dot teleport dot on so client connect function player location um player dot character dot Humanoid root part, which is the which is like one of the main parts we're going to be using because it works with R15 and R6. Dot position. I think that's how it's supposed position. Oh, position. Yeah. Equals game dot workspace dot teleport locations. Find first child location dot position. And this should work. Let's test it out. Load faster. No errors in console except this one, which is from uh, some what's it called? Uh, plugins. All right. So you see how it works. It's working. Works with R15 and R6 because R6 and R15 don't share much other than the head and the humanoid root part. So it works like this, and then if we go over here and delete this, oops. Oh wait, we forgot to delete from server, so it, it looked it just client side of deleting. Um, it works. So that's it for today, guys. Um, it's a good tutorial. I'm gonna leave the code in the description, but I will include errors into it, so then you guys can learn how to fix it from watching the actual video. And not just coming and copy pasting from the comments and leaving. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.